About 15 watermelon remain in his backyard garden and fall weather is upon us. It is dropping really low and is dropping very fast and some of these watermelon are not fully ready yet. Attacked by squash bugs and powdery mildew and downy mildew but you can see they are getting ready but even the tendril right here is not brown. Most of them are not ready. So we're coming down to fall weather in Long Island, New York and watermelon are a summer plant. They could grow best between 70 to 90 degrees. We're dropping in the low 60s to even high 50s from the night to the morning time, which is fall weather. But come through the days, we're into 70 to 80 degrees, but the temperature is back and forward. But with a night low temperature, that will slow down our plant production and it's going to bring in with a mixed temperature, we'll bring in a lot of fungus. I'm going to show you how we prune our watermelon plant to speed up the growing process so we could force our watermelon to ripe before winter time. If you leave your watermelon to grow all the vines and come this fall and winter, you're not going to have a ripe watermelon. You're going to stuck with a sour green watermelon and what a waste, I'm going to tell you. I hate to say that, but what a waste because we work so hard to grow beautiful, delicious, tasty watermelon in our backyard. And if we don't prune, we're not going to have a watermelon to harvest before fall time. Our watermelon plant could grow many side shoots. And I'm gonna show you right there. Just like a cucumber and tomatoes, your watermelon have side shoots. So this is our main stem right here. You see I prune from everywhere, come up to here. Now we're following our main stem, but you see right here, this is a side shoot right here. The side shoot will grow into another plant and basically producing a watermelon too. Not all side shoot, just some. You can see this side shoot, we have a watermelon. Nothing is coming from the main uh, vine. I already harvest two or three watermelon here and I prune out the side shoots. So I only have the main stem coming right here and then I have one of the side shoot that has the watermelon. So the reason why I prune out all the side shoots, because all the energy could focus on that watermelon. And that how we get, that's how we're gonna get a faster harvest. If you want, you could cut off this main stem right here. So only the plant will have that one side shoot. But the reason why I left that, we have more leaves here on this way. So we have double energy coming to that, but we have no more side shoots. A watermelon plant will only produce two to four good melon. So if you have one melon and you run it at a time, prune out all the side shoots. Or if you have no melon, do not prune out all of the side shoots. Just prune out the one at the beginning. You can see how everything again attack. So right here, I will normally prune out. This is the beginning from the plant. Like you see, when you see a, a new growth right here, remove them. This is this is just taking away energy and distracting the, the plant from its main focus of growing our watermelon and ripening it up. So right here, we had one side shoot and one here. So I remove about two to four side shoots from the beginning and then come right here, we have more side shoots that are gonna grow faster to our melon. But I'm gonna show you something real quick right now. Even with a new side shoots like here, you have to watch and be careful. Look, that's our main growing stem right there, but this is one of our side shoots. But look at something. On this one side shoot, look, we got, an, we got a leaf, and between the leaf and the main stem, we have another side shoots. So you have to be careful. Watermelon plant can produce a lot, and this is what slows down the production if you have to speed up the growing process. If you have a lot of time, you have a lot of space, and you don't mind waiting, you could leave the side shoots to grow. But remember, it doesn't matter how much side shoot you leave, you're not gonna get much watermelon from a watermelon plant. I would say typically two to four million good melon so far. I grew over 10 plants and I'm gonna tell you, one of my plants had four, one of them had two, you know, one of them had three. I, I never had six, you know, that you could go up to six, but I prune because I don't have time for six. And remember, always come down right here to the watermelon. This is your tendril. Once this is fully brown, it's ready. But you see how halfway it's green right here? And it's only the top. It's not ready yet. Normally, you want to wait till the whole thing is turning brown. And even when that tendril is brown, sometimes I leave a, a week. Water every one to two days. Come in the morning or in the evening time. Hold the hose about 15 to 20 seconds. Listen, if you don't have time, you have to make time because watering a watermelon is very important. If you do not water in time, you dry out the plant, you stress out the plant, your watermelon is going to be sour, a little bitter. The other thing is the fertilizer. You could add a ratio of a 10-10-10 fertilizer. If you have two million on the plant, I would say fertilize every two weeks. If your plant is now growing, uh, fertilize every three weeks. Be generous with your plants. Watermelon plants grow big fruit. They like to stay healthy. If you do that, you keep them healthy, you keep them hydrated, they will produce amazing, delicious watermelon. Now, pruning, I know a lot of people don't like to prune. 
but if you live in an area like I'm living in Long Island, New York, and we're heading into fall right now, you have to prune all your summer crops because they're not, you're running out of time. But watermelon plant basically will run straight, run about eight to 10 feet long, and it grows many side shoots that reach about at least six feet long. And from that side shoot, you see it grows all the side shoots. Listen, I know people said you need all the leaves. It's only so much leaves we need for the plant to push so much energy to the, the fruit. Now, we don't need a lot of new leaves. If, if we have a plant with a full main, eight feet main stem with leaves, and we have two side shoots that already have about two to four million, we don't need the rest of the side shoots. You don't need all that leaves. It doesn't matter if you have all that leaves. You're only gonna get same amount of energy that grow in the plant at the same time and the same pace. So it's not gonna be like, it's not like you have like, if you have a hundred leaves versus a thousand leaves, it makes a difference. It does not make a difference. It's time. It, it all takes time, baby. But obviously you can't have six leaves. You have six leaves, it's not enough energy to power a big fruit like a watermelon. So a um, full main stem and whatever side shoots are growing, leave them, whichever side shoots does not have any watermelon, cut those side shoots out before they start growing more side shoots and take it with the energy from the watermelon. We, so remember, we're growing for the watermelon. If you're growing for the leaves, that's a different case. We're growing for the watermelon here, baby. Stay focused, guys. I know a lot of people are gonna tell you, do not prune, you're gonna hurt the plant. And I felt bad, I felt bad because it's a mixed message for a lot of people who are beginner. You're watching all our YouTubers right here and some people are like, don't prune, you're destroying the plant. I understand a lot of people don't want to prune. If you have a long garden season, you don't have to prune. If you have a big backyard and a lot of space, you do not have to prune your plant. Don't listen to my advice with pruning, forget what I said. But if you have small backyard, small space, and you only have a, a little bit time of garden season, you have to prune. You see, we as a gardener here, growing in a short garden season is different from the gardeners who have a long garden season. They don't have the experience like I have, and I don't have the experience that they have. They grow all year long. I don't have that experience. My come down winter time, it's all frost out here. But it's a big difference. That's why if you listen, if you wanna grow stuff faster, and if you live in a garden, short garden zone, you listen to people who actually experience. Listen, hands-on experience is a lot better than reading experience. You could read all you want, but if you don't physically do it and try it and fail and learn from it, you don't really know it. So that's how I know most of my stuff. I try and I fail multiple times. A lot of time I, I, you know, I screwed up my watermelon plant before. I screwed up my pepper plant. I pruned too much one time and I learned from it. And now that I learned so much, I could afford to share with it. And trust me, I make a lot of mistakes before. And if I do, I'll let you know. But so far, I learn a lot from all my mistakes. If we make one mistake or twice mistake, we have to learn from it. All right, so thank you so much for watching Green Tea Garden. Don't forget to prune your watermelon plant, increase your fertilizer, water on time, and enjoy your harvest. The other thing I'm telling you, when you harvest your watermelon, harvest in the morning time. When you harvest your watermelon, pick it in the morning time. If you pick your watermelon during the day when it's hot sun, your watermelon is gonna be very hot inside. It's not gonna be the best flavor. Watermelon it tends to taste better when it's cooler. So eat it in the morning, you could pick it, and then put it in the fridge sometimes. You put it in the fridge, you get a best tasting watermelon. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and click the bell icon. Every time you do that, I'll upload a video. You guys get it right away and it's 100% free. And I really appreciate everybody who's been supporting Green Tea Garden. Thank you so much. And we have a lot more videos coming up. Not because summer is coming on to the end, mean we should give up. No, we still have fall weather.